All right, welcome back inside our proactive newsroom. And joining me now is George Sukachoff. He is the CEO of Belmont Resources. And George, it's great to have you back again. How are you? Uh, very good. Always be always glad to be back here and uh, tell our story. Yes, and you've got a good story to tell today because you're able to complete uh, the, the IP, IP survey that we had talked about before. Now you've got the data back from it. So first off, just talk about the, the survey itself and, and how excited you were to get this data back. Well, we we went through a series of of uh, surveys there, mag, et cetera, which is you know typical, and we we're anticipating good results from the IP, and we weren't disappointed. That, uh, in conjunction with all the other data, we come some excellent targets. We suspect there's something large down there, but ultimately drilling will tell. What's what's really key, uh, prominent here is that we have uh, a very major system, something happening in the center with a resistivity low. And on the perimeters, uh, we've got all the characteristics of uh, the geology telling us that there's a uh, high grade copper, gold, et cetera, et cetera. So we're very anxious to get drilling. We hope to get the drills in the ground uh, shortly, actually within uh, in, in, the, in the next month. And also I'd like to say that this is in conjunction with our current drill program that's already in progress mm -hmm. with uh, at our Lone Star, which we talked about in our last interview. So. We're going to have, uh, you know, not too long, we'll have two drill programs going simultaneously. So, George, it came out here that you had five basically high priority targets. So how did you narrow down what you wanted to, to look at with the drill program? Are you going to try to, to do a little bit in, in all of them? Yeah, we, we prioritize them with the five. Uh, so there's, you know, we, we categorize one, two, three, four, five as far as the quality. Mm. And they are how many... Uh, different indicators uh, point to it uh, from our uh, different surveys. It, you know, is there uh, high grade uh, sampling of copper gold at surface? Is it supported by uh, a geophysic, either IP chargeability, resistivity low, or mag underneath that? How many of them? So, uh, if there's three indicators pointing to this uh, one location, that becomes a higher priority. So, uh, but all five of these are are considered to be high priority. So, we'll uh, and and what typically you do? I mean, these are just uh, signatures, which you never know what they really are, are until you go drill. So when you drill the first one, you get to know, oh, there was that chargeability high. It, it kicked, okay, we look for other signatures similar to that because we know it's positive. So it's a systematic approach to it. And, uh, and of course, it's a numbers game. The more targets you have, the better chance of success, which we have. And you also, in the news release, talked about, uh, about Iron Chief and Bets. Can you talk a bit more about those two? Well, these are two areas that were historically that they, they in previous sampling, like first of all, very little work is this was a privately held property until we acquired it from a, a group in Grand Forks. And and there are certain areas in there that were sampled that were high priority just in itself and before even did the surveys. The bets was a former mine or, or a small little operation which uh, showed a very high grade copper, 4%, 5% copper and gold, et cetera. And the uh, uh, so, so these were areas that we target first of all, and then we look to see if the geophysics supports that underneath we say, yeah, it did. And the supports that there is, it supports the mineralization that was found on surface. So actually the BETS is the number one, number one target we're looking at. Mm -hmm. There's some kind of system that we can see from sections, some kind of system visually coming up and feeding what they're finding on surface. So these are really exciting targets. We're really, uh, and, uh, uh, and, and as far as the drilling, uh, all our projects in southern BC here, the Lone Star, which is only 13 kilometers south of our uh, come by chance, or AJ, which is uh, we drilled that in the uh, spring of this year, or of last year rather. Mm -hmm. These are all close to, very close to infrastructure, meaning that we have the support in Grand Forks and Greenwood of all the, all the services, which allows us to drill in winter. And that's what we're doing in Lone Star right now, drilling right through winter. And that's what we hope to do with the, uh, with the, um, the CBC, or the come by chance, we call it. And we hope to be able to drill soon in winter before even the snow clears. And that's the advantage of our, of our location, of our projects. And last question, George, that is, uh, it sounds like you're gearing up for a pretty busy year. Uh, I know you did a lot of work last year uh, on the company itself and, and, and trying to get into the field work as well. But it sounds like this is really going to be a big year for, for the projects. Absolutely. 2021, we're acquiring the properties, did a lot of the work on it, they're putting it together. And 220 uh, this year, 22 is, is uh, where we start to drill and start to get results. All right, exciting stuff. George, thanks so much for the update. Uh, we'll talk again soon. Thank you, Steve.
All right, there's George Sukachov. He is the CEO of Belmont Resources.